Welcome to AISD, folks. I'm your host, the Stupid Ed of 1836, and welcome to Rise of Nations, an RTS game on Roblox where you use armies, diplomacy, and your own skills to conquer the world. This time we'll be forming, or trying to form, the North Sea Empire. The North Sea Empire was a personal union between Denmark, Norway, and England toward the end of the Viking Age. It was first formed when Sven Forkbeard, your weird name, who was the king of Denmark and Norway, conquered England in 1016. He died the next year, so his son, known as Nut the Great, actually, I'm calling him Nut the Great, that the name Nut has C at the end, near the beginning, retook these kingdoms over the next decade. He died in 1028, and the empire split again. Nut's successor, Harathagnut, Nut inherited England in 1014 and ruled over it until his death two years later, ending the North Sea Empire for good. That takes care of that rather short history lesson, so let's get to forming it. I decided to start forming it as Denmark. I could have done it as Britain, but I wanted a challenge to start off the series, and also Denmark was the historic capital of the North Sea Empire, so that's what I went with. What a plan that was. So I, so I started off by justifying my war goals on Norway, Iceland, the Faroe Islands, and England, which is what you need to form this empire. Unfortunately, Denmark is a pretty small nation. It's got 20k troops to start with and 60k manpower. Not the best stats in the world, but you gotta work with what you got. I'll let you know right off the bat that I'm doing this on my private server so that I won't have to deal with other players, because that gets really annoying. <laughs> I've done it before. Anyway, once my manpower is maxed out, I used it to make more troops for my invasion army, which I'm going to use to attack Norway. I know, 80k is not a, you know, is not a big number, but uh, this is a small nation we're dealing with here. Tell me some slack. I immediately started to train them, so they'd stand some chance of forming this empire. Of course, Denmark doesn't make a lot of money, so I end up in deficit right from the get-go. But I decided that the capital I had was way more than sufficient to allow my troops to complete their training, so I waited until they were done. Once that was out of the way, I declared war on Norway. I decided to land near their capital because there were a lot of cities nearby, and that's where their main army was. Of course the AI attacks immediately, but I have better troops and four times more troops, so I easily win that fight. After that, I proceed to conquer the rest of Norway. In hindsight, a better idea would probably have been invading Britain, because Norway is mostly mountains, and in Rise of Nations, moving your troops through mountains slows your troops down a lot, which is really annoying, especially when your troops start suffering from the effects of attrition, which basically means that as your troops move through hostile territory a certain distance away from a friendly city, your troops will start to lose, start to take damage. And that could be pretty annoying when you're doing a long campaign. But eventually I took over Southern Norway, and most of this was done with the auto capture feature, which is, which is pretty useful if you don't want to do, you don't want to get involved in anything and you've got other things to do. Auto capture can be a pretty useful feature. It worked well for the South, but as they moved north, my troops got a bit confused. For some reason, they couldn't quite decide whether they wanted to be on land or in a boat, and they were constantly switching between the two. That was pretty annoying, so I decided to use this, this trick that helps avoid this land versus boat crisis. The thing about cities that you need to remember when you're playing the game is that you don't need to be on top of the city to capture it. You can stand a short distance away and it'll still work. It's a pretty cool gimmick, if I'd say so myself. Once, finally... Mountainous Norway was captured. When you know when I did the negotiations, I didn't ask for war operations because that doesn't really do anything when you ask for their treasury. Me. So I waited a little bit for my troops to replenish, and for my war reparations. Uh, sorry, war war exhaustion and my uh, you know and for Norway to uh, me to uh, get its unrest down because unrest can be a pretty bad thing when you're playing this game, and especially when you have an empire. So my plan was to send my invasion army back to Denmark so that I could build more troops and get ready for the invasion of Britain. 
But as I'm sending them around, I notice that I have enough troops to decide to build a second army. So I thought, why not do that? And while I'm while I'm doing that, I decided to conquer Iceland just real quick. We can do kind of a world tour. So the second invasion army was made in Norway because the unrest there was low enough for me to do that. Now, the unrest needs to be below a certain point in order to raise troops in those areas. So I ended up with 60k troops, but there was... Unfortunately, my balance didn't have enough money for me to have all these troops, so I ended up in deficit again. Yeah, and, and I didn't have enough research points to uh, start researching a tax collection, so I decided to uh, invade Britain right there and then, and my plan was for a two-prong attack on the Scottish coast. So I land near and on the Scottish coast, and of course the British army attacks. At this point, I wasn't sure if they were going to be able to defeat them because they outnumbered me two to one. But I had the bigger. Actually, they were quite successful, but I had better troops, so I squashed them. And at that point, that second invasion force, which I had sent to support the main force, wasn't needed, so I decided to disband them. But the two armies joined together before I could disband them, and I disbanded the entire army. And this left me with not nearly enough manpower to make another army. So I decided, you know what, let's do a white truce while, while I get my war exhaustion down. But then my internet crashed. So, that was my attempt at forming the North Sea Empire. This is supposed to be the pilot to a new Rise of Nations formable series that I'm starting. Yeah, Rise of Nations formable series, been there, done that, am I right? But uh, this is going to be different. Everyone is going to have a history lesson at the beginning so that you'll know the backstory of what I'm doing before I do it. I'm going to do every formable in the game, so it's going to be a lengthy series. Now, I picked the North Sea Empire at random. But future formables will be chosen by the comments. You get to decide which formable I do next. So if you have a formable you want me to form, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, have a better one. Thanks for watching.